Hey now, my name is Nick, this is Board Game Brawl, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game that is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. That game is called How I Got to the ER from designer Michael Denal. Now if you like what you see during the course of this video and you want to learn more, I'm going to have a link at the bottom of your screen and then down in the comments section which will take you to the Kickstarter page. You can find out more information about the project and hopefully consider backing it. Now, How I Got to the ER is a storytelling game. You're going to have some cards in front of you that have words and phrases on them and you're going to string those together and brainstorm within one minute to tell a story to the rest of the players at the table ending in and that's how I got to the ER. The other players will judge your story and uh, give you a number of points and the first person to get to a certain threshold of points based on the number of players is going to be the winner. So let's go ahead and take a brief overview of how the game is going to play then we're going to come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Alright, I'm going to give you a very brief overview of how I got to the ER. Now this game is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter and I'm going to have a link at the bottom of your screen and then down in the comments section. If you like what you see here, I would encourage you to go to the project page and consider backing the project. Now this is a competitive game for at least three players. It goes up to about seven players, but you could theoretically do it with even more than that. The goal is to craft a story telling how you got to the ER using cards that are going to give you clues as to how you should structure your story. So this is a a storytelling game. The winner is the first person to get to a certain threshold of points depending on the number of players. It could be 100 points, it could be 150 points, but you can adjust it on the fly as to whatever you see fit. So at the beginning of the game every player is going to be dealt out three cards from the top of the deck. You'll shuffle them up. Every player will have, will have their three cards out in front of them. So let's say that there's a few other players that are off screen here. And then when it's your turn, you'll randomly decide who's going to go first. You have to flip over all three of your cards, and then you immediately have one minute to craft a story out of those three cards describing how you got to the ER. You'll tell your story, and the very last thing you'll say is, and that's how I got to the ER. After you get done telling your story, every player, other player at the table is going to have uh, the chance to grade you on your story, giving you anywhere from one to five points. You'll keep track of the points you accrue, and that's how you're going to determine who the winner is. So for instance, let's say that these are the three cards I got. I got Lotion, <laughs> Jamaican Beach, and an extension cord. So, okay, let me see if I can do this on the spot. I have one minute to craft the story. I might say, so I'm out there, I'm there at the Jamaican beach, I'm rubbing lotion all over myself, and then some dummy is carrying his uh, portable TV uh, hooked up to an extension cord past me. The extension cord uh, rubs up against the lotion that's on my back, and it gets really slippery, and it, well, it sticks to me, and it wraps around my arm that's hanging over the side of the beach chair on the beach, and starts dragging me along with him, and I'm like, whoa, I freak out, and I grab the cord, and I pull it off him, the TV slams me right in the head, pulled it right out of his arm, smacks right into my face, and that's how I ended up in the ER. So that's just one example. Uh, let's do one more quick one on the fly. Uh, so let's see, we have a drag queen fashion show and massage and zip ties. Now remember, you'll have these three cards face down in front of you and then when it's your turn, you'll flip them up. So, wow, okay, drag queen fashion show massage. <laughs> and zip ties. Um, I'm going to say that, so I'm there at the drag queen fashion show and this uh, wonderful looking queen decides to give me a massage and all of a sudden, uh, well, okay, I don't even know what to do with zip ties. That's kind of crazy, but that might be for someone more creative than me. But I do want to show you a couple of the other different types of cards that are in the deck. So one of them are the blank cards. Now, if you flip over your three cards, and one of those cards is the blank card, then immediately the first other player to notice that you've got a blank card can say, ah, ah, wait, and give you one of their cards that they look at. So, boom, now that blank card becomes Blow Up Doll. So, Circus, Butter, and Blow Up Doll. That is really going to be one strange trip to the ER. Uh, <laughs> the other type of card that you might get, let's go ahead and clear these out of here. You may get a fill in the blank card. So you flip over your cards and boom, you've got vacuum, beehive, and then blank come in. So I'm sitting there, 
uh, using my vacuum, trying to clean the house, and I trying to I, I go out to the porch and I'm trying to clean out the gutters with the vacuum, which makes no sense whatsoever. But then I knock down a beehive. Uh, some of the bees get sucked up in the vacuum cleaner, but that just makes the rest of the bees angrier. And now they're chasing me. And then the Kool Aid Man came in right through the wall like he usually does. And that's how I ended up at the ER. I don't know. It's hard for me to make up this, <laughs> the stories on the spot. But there's a lot of different and crazy things that you could do with this game. It's all about free form and creative thinking and thinking on the fly. Remember, you have to do this within one minute and hope that the rest of your peers at the table judge it to be a great story. The first person to get as many points as you set the game for is going to be the winner. And that is how I got to the ER. <laughs> now let's get to my final thoughts. How I Got to the ER has one of the most unique premises of any storytelling card game that I've played, and I think that that's to its benefit because it means that people who really love storytelling games are going to be able to come to this game and have a fresh and new experience. And the structure of the game is such that it really promotes creative, free-form thinking, while at the same time there is enough structure to get you going. You have cards with the words and the phrases and the clues to get you moving in the right direction, but from then on it's all you. You're also playing underneath a tight time constraint. While this is flexible like most parts of the game, you can really time it down to the second or just say, well, about a minute, something like that. But with that time constraint, it's really forcing you to think outside of the box, be creative, think on your feet, and also play to your audience. That's a big part of any storytelling game. I think it's very important in how I got to the ER because, you know, if you're playing with friends and family, it can be rather simple. You, say, oh, you know what their likes and dislikes are. You know what they can take and they can't take as far as raunchiness or seriousness and things like that. But you still need to know you still need to structure your storyline for every person at the table. And this game can go for it's at least three players, but it can be theoretically as many people as you have cards for. So just because you're playing well, your story is playing well to one person or a few people, it may not be playing well to the whole table, but that comes over time. Telling the story is to draw out as many points as possible. If you play with people who are brand new that you've never met before, like at a convention or at a gaming store with people you've never met, that's a whole other story, and that can actually lead to more excitement because you're just testing the waters, you're getting to know these people. And that's a really good benefit of how I got to the ER as well. You're having a lot of interaction with these people. You're learning their stories, you're judging them based on it, and you're able to sort of get to know them better through the course of the game. You also have uh, interaction through the rules with the blank cards, which sort of let people get insert a bit of their story into yours. Now you have to use that and make something out of it. You also have your own uh, cards with the fill in the blank, which is going to let you come up with even more creative and free form ways. So again, the structures of the cards that you have are just sort of a framework to get to where you want to go. And like I said, the premise is unique. I like the idea of coming up with traumatic accidents that uh, determine how you got to the ER. Maybe you're not even the person who had the traumatic accident happen to them. Maybe it's just someone else and you're you know, telling the characters and your stories uh, downfall. There's a lot of different ways you can go with it. I've heard some really, really crazy things <laughs> come out of it that a lot, most of the story having nothing to do with the ER first and then you swing back to that. That's just the nature of the game and that's definitely a strength that it has. Like I said, it's very flexible in a lot of ways. It's also a strength, so the number of players, uh, the time that it takes and how you play it all can change depending on your group. And so it gives you a solid foundation of a creative storytelling game that I think is really gonna uh, work very well for people who are creative writers who, who, or who want to be. This is gonna be a great way to brainstorm and learn new ideas and how to uh, improve your own writing or speaking or whatever it might be. So that is how I got to the ER from designer Michael Denall. If you wanna learn more about the game, if you like what you've seen in this video, I would encourage you to go to the official Kickstarter project page, which is seeking funding right now. I'm going to have a link at the bottom of the screen and then down in the comment section, you can follow that link, find out more, and hopefully consider pledging to the campaign. My name is Nick, this has been Board Game Brawl, and I'm reminding you to get out there and game every day and every way. Take care.